We're living in the days of God's severe wrath upon the world. We're living in the days of Ezekiel, where God asked Ezekiel to lay on his side 390 days and to eat his food cooked over human waste. When that was too disgusting, however, for him to actually do, God allowed Ezekiel to eat his food cooked over cow dung. This represented how defiled the sanctuary was. Where people were supposed to be worshipping God, they were worshipping idols. Where they were supposed to be preaching the undefiled word of God, they were giving people spiritually polluted bread. That is false word of God. The same exact thing is happening today. The sanctuary has been defiled. Where men and women of God should come and be able to worship and praise God, they have defiled their own hearts. They are preaching pollution. And what God thinks of it is the same as eating your food cooked over human waste. He is disgusted by it. We're living in the days of God's wrath upon all people and no one is spared. I want to read to you Ezekiel chapter 9 because these are the days that we are living in. This is part of Ezekiel's vision. Then he called out in my hearing with a loud voice saying, Let those who have charge over the city draw near each with a deadly weapon in his hand. And suddenly six men came from the direction of the upper gate, which faces north, each with his battle axe in his hand. One man among them was clothed with linen, and had a rider's inkhorn at his side. They went in and stood beside the bronze altar. Now the glory of God of Israel had gone up from the cherub where it had been to the the threshold of the temple. And he called to the man clothed with linen who had the writer's inkhorn at his side. And the Lord said to him, Go throughout the midst of the city, throughout the midst of Jerusalem, and put a mark on the foreheads of the men who sigh and cry over all the abominations that are done within it. To the others he said in my hearing, Go after him throughout the city and kill. Do not let your eye spare, nor have any pity. Utterly slay old and young men, maidens, and little children and women. But do not come near anyone on whom is the mark. And begin at my sanctuary. So they began with the elders who were before the temple. God's judgment is very severe. And it is coming upon his sanctuary first. No one is going to escape God's judgment. The only ones who will be spared are those who have hated what God hates, despised what God despises, and who have clung to righteousness and holiness. Will you be spared when the day of judgment comes upon your household? Are you safe? Is the Holy Spirit in you? and in your family? Or are you defiled? Is your sanctuary also defiled? May the grace of Jesus be with you.